<laughs> hey everybody how awesome is the marline spike hitch stick around we're gonna check it out tick 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 boom hey everybody thanks for joining me today we're gonna go over the marline spike hitch and why it is so awesome because if you know this one knot you're like this close to being able to do three other very useful knots so let's get down here on this log and go over how to tie a simple marline spike hitch and then we're going to build on it from there so to make your marline spike put a loop in a rope just like that fold it over onto itself and when you reach through on your end here you pull that through you have this bite right here that is what you can go ahead and put a toggle or a ladder or if you needed something to, to, to give you more leverage to pull on that's what you would put through there tighten it up and there now you have a marline spike so guys there's always more than one way to tie a knot let me show you another way to tie a marline spike here is your rope that you're gonna make a ladder out of or you're gonna tie your marline spike on in any case you're gonna start here, wrap it around once, and then we're gonna to come to this right here on the back side. We'll reach around the back side here, just like this. We're not gonna twist it or anything like that. We're just gonna pull it through and wrap it right around to the back side. Dress up your knot, and there you have a Marline spike. This is where it gets fun because now you know how to tie the marline spike right so let's tie one of my personal favorite knots the bowline and if you can tie a marline spike and you can thread the needle you are officially making a bowline let's get back down on the stump so we all probably know the old way of making the loop taking the end running it up through the hole around the uh, static end bringing it back up through the hole and then pulling it tight and then you have your bowline and you can always tell the bowline because at the end of it you've got your end right there running up into the loop and it's a nice non-slip knot it's very useful i use it a ton of places around camp but my mind was blown when lee davis showed me how to make this knot right here using the marline spike and then it's very simple so you start off with your loop and we're gonna make a marline spike so right there is your pocket that you would shove your toggle through that you would shove anything uh, that you wanted to put into your marline spike all you're gonna do is take your working end put it through and pinch it onto itself right there just like that straight through grab it pinch it so now I've got right there and then we're just gonna pull it tight Right there is my bowline. Here's another great marline spike hitch knot that I didn't know about until I just watched one of uh, Sean Kelly's videos. I believe it was the Pathfinder uh, Quick Tips was making a jam knot from the marline spike. So again, start with your marline spike, get your loop, reach through, Pull that. That's where your um, that's where your constrictor knot is, right there. What we're gonna do is just go ahead and tie an overhand knot, which is just a real quick loop de loop right over top of itself. That creates a jam, and then you can pull the knot tight and that right there keeps this end from pulling through. So again, that's like a constrictor knot that you can use to get right up on something, but it won't pull out because the jam knot will stop it from coming through. And now, probably one of the most filmed knots on YouTube is the trucker's hitch or the truckie's hitch. And of course, it uses a marline spike 
and just a couple of loops. Let's get down here, let me show you how it's done. All right guys, there's a lot of different uses for the trucker's hitch, but we use it, particularly in the survival and bushcraft world, to run a ridge line. Over there, the ridge line is already locked in with a bow line and a toggle. So we run from that tree, we're running this way. We're gonna take this tree right here and we're just gonna run the loop, or run a uh, run the string right around it just like that. Now, we're gonna pick a point out here to create a marline spike. Now here's a note, you have to run the marline spike the correct way, otherwise it doesn't work right. And let me show you what happens when it doesn't work right before I show you what happens that it does work right. So if you make your loop and you go towards the tree with the bow line, your very first set, and you make your marline spike that way, well, yeah, you've got a marline spike. It's right there, there's your little bike. You run your rope through it. Now, when you go to tension it, notice that it tightens up on you. And it gets very, very tight. And you don't want that. So here, guys, if you do it right, you make your loop, just like that. This is the side over here that we're going towards. So that's the way we lay our loop onto and pull our marline spike up through. Now it will never collapse if you do it this way. And you just put your rope on through, pull it, and watch. Notice the size of the loop does not get any smaller. It stays the exact same. And it's nice and tight for your ridge line. Now, if you're really cool, and only cool people can do this, you run it through a second time, and it gets converted from a trucker's hitch to a truckee's hitch. But this is only what cool people do. You can only do this if you're cool. Now, when you pull on it and you get it tight, it'll automatically stay. And then just throw a half hitch on there just for security. Another one of the really cool features of our Marline spike hitches, it just comes out of the rope just like that. Fantastic. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope I was able to teach you some really cool things about the Marline Spike. Like I said, you are like one little knot or one little thing away from making so many knots with the Marline Spike Hitch and it's such a cool like base knot to not know how to use it. Knot, knot, and knot. How many more knots can I throw in a sentence? So anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Do me a favor. Check me out on www.bombproofbushcraft.com. That's bombproofbushcraft.com. That's where I have a whole bunch of cool stuff. And also, you can check me out on Mayway. You can check me out on Parlor. You can check me out on Wimkin. And I'm trying to find other sites out there, some other social media platforms. And uh, I'll let you guys know when I find them. So until then, guys, get out of the inside and into the outside. Take care. Son of a gun. Hey, Cletus.
Cletus, can you do me a favor? What? Grab me out. I should, in there, on the shelf, I should have a whole box of overhand knots. Can you grab them for me? Okay. Did you mean Marlon spy catches? Is overhand not spelled the same way as Marlon spike? Didn't think so. Overhand, overhand not. It's a whole box of them in there. Okay. Yeah, well I made a rope out of those. I took them all and I put them all on one big rope. I call it an overhand knot rope. Isn't it pretty? Want me to tell you what I do? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I do. I'd be calling what not, what not. One eight 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 two. Squared. You know, I think that's the first good idea I've ever heard come out of you. Has this ever happened to you folks? That's right, Madison Pool here with What Not Store. That's right, the store that doesn't sell just knots. We sell rope, rope supplies, and everything else that has to deal with rope, especially knots, because knots are not all we sell. You can get a hold of us anytime, day or night, night or day, internet or not. Fax, email, we got it all, but our number is one 888 squared Fast delivery, we have all your most common knots in stock, guaranteed, ready to ship out to you. Wood Knot is partially owned by Bombproof Bushcraft, therefore you know that the stuff we carry is high quality. You want colors, we got colors. You want shapes and sizes, we got shapes and sizes. You want climbing knots, we got climbing knots. Towing knots, we got those too. You name it, we carry it. They don't call us Wood Knot for nothing. The only knots we don't carry are Don Knots.